just absolutely amazing who's going other places. Oregon. Oregon calls you, you answer the phone because it's the Oregon Ducks and their great facilities and what the tradition of duck football has become, the job that Dan Lanning has done. They picked up UCLA's quarterback, Dante Moore, who opted out, which was an absolute stunner. USC, I don't have an explanation as to why this has happened, but Link Riley has lost his ability to get it done at Southern Cal. Not only was it a miserable end of the season at USC, he lost the quarterback of the future, Malachi Nelson, who went into the portal this week. He lost Raleigh Brown, one of their marquee running backs. He opted out. Uh, he has gone to Arizona State. He's lost three wide receivers. He lost this big defensive end foreman who was a five-star guy, just never worked out at USC. So Lincoln Riley's got holes everywhere in terms of depth on his roster. The other thing, Syracuse, it's really weird. All of a sudden, a quarterback changes his mind, and instead of going where he said he was going, he decommits at the last minute, goes somewhere else. Kyle McCord, Ohio State quarterback. Well, the Buckeyes are fabulous season. A, why the hell would you leave Ohio State? Right. B, he initially announces, I'm going to Nebraska. Why? They don't throw the football. And then changes his mind there when Nebraska steals a quarterback from Georgia. So suddenly Kyle McCord goes to Syracuse. Syracuse, the orange <laughs> carrier dome. Right. Uh, we're not talking about state-of-the-art big program in the Northeast. Mm -hmm. So all these dominoes keep changing because one kid changes his mind at the last minute, like Rayola at Georgia suddenly winds up in Nebraska. That impicts Kyle McCord. So that's strange. Washington just continues to pick up players. The well, Huskies, really impressive. Miami, which was desperate to find a quarterback, went back into the portal. They've found a quarterback. And like I said, Nebraska winds up with Rayola, who comes from Georgia. So, I mean, it, to me, it has been just an unbelievable week of turnover. I'm, I'm going to be interested to see where Malachi Nelson, who defected from USC, winds up because that was state-of-the-art kid. Washington got Will Rogers from Mississippi State over 12,000 yards passing. He's going to the Huskies to replace Michael Penix, wow. who is leaving. And USC did pick up a quarterback late, Will Howard, quarterback from Washington, uh, from Kansas State. Interesting sidebar, Caleb Williams has not yet announced what he's doing. Interesting. Yeah. Staying or filing for the NFL. But with Will Howard coming in the door, that leads me to believe Caleb Williams is probably going to go to the National Football League early. So when one domino falls, it kind of impacts a whole pile of other things in college football. Yeah, I bet you these players and, you know, their quote agents, probably their parents or people they know, they can see the depth charts on these teams. Oh, they sure. can see the writing on the wall and they know that. If, if they're playing somewhere and they got a hot, like number one recruit, then their job's going to be in jeopardy. And, you know, but, but Syracuse is a weird spot for McCoy to land. Who, who was, there was an NFL quarterback that played there. Oh, Donovan. Was it Donovan McNabb? McNabb. McNabb. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting to think of Syracuse and football. I usually always think of Bayheim and basketball there. Um, but yeah, just a shuffling of the deck football. I mean, college basketball too, is just, it's a different sport. These guys are rebuilding a team every year. Yeah, and have to re-recruit your own guys because your own guys are getting tampered with. Right. Oh, the transfer portal is, I think it's a mess. Now, there's stories.